Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video I'm going to show you my complete onboarding process. I am a software consultant, so my process is really simple, but I will also briefly show you another onboarding process of a construction company, so you can get a good idea of how it works from a different perspective. All right, let's get started. The client onboarding process comes after the sales process, but some companies include the onboarding process in the sales process. This is going to depend on how you organize your sales process and also what you're selling, your industry and other variables. The onboarding process is important because it improves the first interactions with your clients, allows you to set up expectations early, increases efficiency in sending your clients the right information and ensures compliance. In my opinion, it is all about communication. You have to make sure the client knows what's going on. Normally, you will initiate the onboarding process after one of these things happens, either a first payment or the deposit was made or a contract was signed. All right, now that we have the basics covered, let's start with how the onboarding process works. I will explain my onboarding process first, and then I will go over the onboarding process of one of my clients. I have made this slide that shows all different stages. So we start with a welcome email. After the client signed the contract, we send an email that contains a link to book a video call, as well as a snapshot of everything we're going to talk about during the call, so the client can be prepared. This email will include items like choosing the preferred communication method, deciding how we will work together, who is the main contact, and more. If the client doesn't get back to us within 24 hours, we call them. The idea is that we book the video call as soon as possible. Once the video call is scheduled, we prepare the meeting presentation with all the necessary questions that will allow us to establish communication channels as well as decide the way to work. For example, some clients like to meet often and others prefer detailed emails with updates. We will also narrow down the scope of work going over the project and gathering any new details. And finally, if possible, we will plan out the first task that we're gonna be working on. After the meeting, we send a summary of what was decided during the meeting. And something optional is a form that asks for login information and credentials for the apps we are going to need access to. The last action of my onboarding process is sending the client an email to notify that we have started working on the first task. So that was my client onboarding process, but let me go over a different onboarding process that is being used on a construction company. Something to keep in mind is that most of the process is done automatically with a CRM. After the contract has been signed, a welcome email is sent to the client showing information about the project as well as information about choosing the colors and styles. The email also contains a PDF information sheet with some guidelines. Besides the email, the client also gets a short text message notification. All these notifications are customizable depending on the job type and client type. One day after the first email, a second email is sent with specific color options that depend on the scope of work. Also, right after we send that email, we call the client to let her know that we send that email with color options. Once the colors have been picked, we schedule a phone call where we will review all the details of the project, including the contract, scope of work, colors chosen, and more. We also explain how the construction process works and what we require at the job site before we start working. This call ensures that the client and us are on the same page. Once all the details of the job have been reviewed, the job is marked as ready, meaning that we can start working on the project soon. This is the last step of the client onboarding process. At this point, the CRM sends an email notification introducing operations so the client knows that from now on she has a new point of contact in case she has questions. A text message is also sent with similar information. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you got some good information from this video. I'm a software consultant, so if you're looking to set up a new client onboarding process using a CRM and you need some help, check out my website for more information. I will leave a link in the description right below the like button. I will also link some other videos you might find interesting, so please check them out. Thanks for watching.